and well wishes have given myself and my family's support and would urge anybody who knows anything about the death of my wife to come forward. He was asked about newspaper reports of his own conviction on a wounding charge more than 20 years ago. Police said publicity about the conviction was unhelpful. We've just heard that the case against Colin Stagg, the man accused of the murder of Rachel Nickell on Wimbledon Common two years ago, has been dropped. The prosecution offered no other evidence after the judge ruled that the evidence of an undercover policewoman against Stagg was inadmissible. That's it. There's more news at one o'clock. Now the headlines in the southeast, and as you may have just heard, Colin Stagg, the unemployed man accused of murdering model Rachel Nickell on Wimbledon Common, has been acquitted at the Old Bailey. A full report will follow in our lunchtime bulletin. Technicians from the Swedish the ferry walkway that collapsed early this morning at Ramsgate, Kent, to help investigators. Six people died and seven were seriously injured when the accident happened as they were boarding a ferry to Ostend. Experts from the company FIAB will be working closely with the port authorities to find out what happened. The seven injured people, all aged between 20 and 35, were taken to Kent and Canterbury Hospital. A spokesman has said they're in a serious condition but not in any danger. The first ever survey of beggars in London says there's no evidence of people begging for profit. The report, commissioned by the homelessness charity Crisis, says that for many, begging is the last resort and that beggars are not simply lazy. Crisis is calling for the government to abolish the Vagrancy Act, which makes it illegal to beg. Well, that's it. We'll have a full roundup of the day's news at 5 to 1, but now a look at the weather forecast with Michael Fish. Good afternoon. It's a very stormy weather on the way to many parts of Europe. Stormy in both senses. Thunderstorms in central and uh, the more southern areas and strong winds and severe gales in some of the more northern and northwestern parts. It's all brewing up nicely at the moment. There's a swirl of cloud out there to the southwest and this band of clouds stretching right down into the Mediterranean. Very thick cloud in places and that's been giving recently some violent thunderstorms. In fact, they're banging off at the moment across uh, northern parts of Italy down towards Sardinia and Corsica and some places overnight have had over an inch of rain and incidentally some parts of the British Isles have had over an inch of rain as well. Now we have this low pressure close by. That area of low pressure is going to deepen further and it will influence the weather across northern Europe including the British Isles for the next few days pulling in these cool north to northwesterly winds so the temperatures are going to go down everywhere. The change of colours here from orange down to green below average temperatures in the next few days and a lot of wind and rain as well. And it's pretty mixed at the moment in uh, the more northern parts of Europe as we've just seen on the satellite picture. By tomorrow we'll have a band of heavy rains through the middle of Britain, through southern Scandinavia, across the Baltic states and into the Ukraine. To the north of that it'll be dry and fairly bright. To the south of that, mixed to say the least, it's going to be cool and windy and there'll be a fair number of showers and some of those showers could be heavy and thundery. The odd one feeding down into the Mediterranean, but for the small southern parts of the Mediterranean, and more especially the eastern areas, that's where the fine weather's holding on, and that's where the best temperatures are, up to 35 degrees, compared to the cool 16 further north. Look, what's going on? Why are we always kept waiting? Thanks, Charlie. Saturday night at Holby City is a very busy night. Do you understand what's going on here? He's on the monitor. The real casualty would be to miss it. Casualty returns Saturday at 8 on BBC One. Bob Langley and his well-travelled friends arrive in Whitby, now on BBC One, and discover it was the landing site of a certain count. <laughs> 